in my head instantly think of Kate Moss and the stairs and I swung at him. We were leaving the room and Johnny left the room before I did and there had been a rainstorm and as I left the room I slid down the stairs and I hurt my back. This Kate Moss testimony would never have been allowed in this case because this case is about Amber Heard and whether Johnny Depp abused her. However, Amber mentioned Kate Moss during her own testimony and that opened the door to allow Johnny Depp's team to call Kate Moss. And I screamed because I was in, because uh, I didn't know what had happened to me and I was in pain and um, he came running back to help me and carried me to my room and got me medical attention. It's been reported that Kate Moss is going to say that actually what happened was she was walking down the stairs in flip-flops. She tripped on the last two stairs and Johnny Depp actually caught her and tended to her. Very different from being pushed down the stairs. Did Mr. Depp push you in any way down the stairs? No. Uh, during the course of your relationship, did he ever push you down any stairs? No, he never pushed me, kicked me, or threw me down any stairs. Not that it's ever really been looking that good for Amber Heard, but I feel like, especially now, it's looking very bad for her. So at the beginning of the court case, Amber Heard testified saying that she was very scared of Johnny, while Johnny was on one of his absolute mental ones where he would go crazy hitting people. <coughs> probably didn't happen. All Amber Heard could do is think about that time where Kate Moss fell down the stairs and thought to herself she didn't fall down the stairs. Johnny Depp definitely pushed her in some sort of weird eureka moment. Now, because she said this at the beginning, they've now invited her on to the podium to talk to the judge and the rest of the court case, testifying that no, no, that never happened. She was never kicked, pushed, punched down the stairs, and all of what Amber Heard has been saying has turned out to be a lie. I know, sh shocking. We're, we're really shocked. But honestly, for Amber Heard, this isn't even the worst of her week, because Amber Heard and her team are really coming for that number number one speed run spot on trying to lose a court case. With Amber Heard even having her psychiatrist on this week, who when I say is an odd person, that's really telling you guys likely that he is a very strange man indeed. Take a look for yourself. What do you use as a baseline? A baseline for processing speed? Yeah, for, for analyzing Mr. Depp before you watched his deposition. What do you use a baseline for that? Oh. Yeah. I mean, I guess my baseline would probably be what I, how I've seen him interact in public. I have seen him interact with others. I've seen him interact in media. I've seen him interact all, and his process speed is certainly not slow. I've seen him do commercials. His process speed was not slow. A deposition, didn't you say that what you did was compare Mr. Depp's performance in lots of pirate movies? against his deposition testimony what here. I, what I said was I've seen Mr. Depp do apology ads. I remember he did apology ad with Bad Dog, no delay in process speed. I've seen him interact with the media regarding to that. I saw no delay in processing speed. Johnny Depp has amazing processing speed what what does that actually mean though like uh, i'm sure there's not many psychiatrists watching this video right now but if there is can you please let me know in the comments down below is that generally one of your tests processing speed and also at the same token can someone please let this psychiatrist know if anyone knows him that commercials and movies are probably quite different from real life considering that you know what you're gonna say and there's a script right there in front of you like, you wouldn't be sat there watching someone read something out on a script and be like, Wow, fantastic processing speed you have. I just personally have never heard that one before. Honey, why do you like me? Oh, I fell in love with you because of your epic processing speed. Is that, do I have to answer that question, Your Honor? Okay. You have to answer questions. Yes, sir. Yeah, surprisingly enough, when you're on the podium, while the other person's lawyer is asking you questions, yeah, you have to answer those questions. What's up, boys and girls? It's been a bit of a crazy one this week. Just when you thought the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial was starting to become a little bit stale, this fine specimen decides to drop from the battle bus into the courtroom. 
And let me tell you, I don't think I've quite seen a human being like this ever. <laughs> Like, I don't know if anyone's seen any of the footage this week, but I, I really couldn't believe my eyes while watching this person, thinking that someone like this actually exists. I like to think of my own little conspiracy right now that everybody testifying for Amber Heard are actually all in on a big prank. I'm just trying to make Amber Heard look as dumb <laughs> as possible because there's no way these people are being for real. And, um... You know whether Marlon Brando used an earpiece? Whether, isn't he dead? <laughs> yeah. So the answer is no, he does not use one now. Oh, no, I, I, I use the past tense. Sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, again, I know nothing. I, I don't know whether or not Johnny Depp died inside. <laughs> or, like the same as me, can't believe this person exists. Even to the way he, he drinks. A normal human task that me and you would find extremely easy. You know, open a bottle of water, whatever it is, and drink. Nothing weird. I mean, how can you turn that into something weird? Why is he drinking like that? No, I don't know. He just has an aura about him that just makes me feel extremely uncomfortable. You know, it's big red flags, boys and girls. When somebody doing a day-to-day -day task such as even drinking is making you feel extremely uncomfortable, that's saying a lot. I don't ever feel that uncomfortable from the videos I make. And they're pretty cringe. But for some reason, the way he puts his lips together to take a swig of his Gatorade gives me the GB heebies. It's like he's plotting something here. I know he's in a court, so he can't do anything, but I still can't help get that feeling that any second he's gonna jump over that desk and he's gonna cause me and you extreme harm. I know, it's silly. There's police there. They would probably stop him, but I still feel like he has a good chance of killing me. I mean, look at that glare. I mean, that is a stare that could definitely kill people. So that's what's really been happening this week. Now we'll get back to that interesting character that we've been watching. But one of the best things I saw this week was them trying to testify the fact that Johnny Depp has been doodling and eating sweets somehow has a connection for him to maybe be a psychopath. I, I don't personally see the connection there from eating sweets and doodling, but Amber's lawyers try to make that connection, which I really don't understand, especially because we watched the beginning of this trial. Amber Heard did nothing but doodle the whole time. Does that mean Amber Heard is also a psychopath? I feel like in her case, it actually holds up a bit more because yes, she probably is. But take a look at this. We've seen Mr. Depp during this trial doodling and eating candy. Uh, what if any uh, evidence would that suggest that he has narcissistic traits? Objection, Your Honor. No foundation. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Now, you were asked about the cluster B. Bro, I love this. This is, oh my God, amazing. <laughs> The way that they just both reach in for sweets after they told Johnny Depp is narcissistic for eating sweets. I, I actually love this. The way both of them took some sweets. <laughs> I love his whole team went in for sweets as well. I, I mean, I don't know how you're gonna try the with a straight face to really try and make that connection between Johnny eating sweets equals lock him up. It's just crazy, man. I could like, what is Amber's team even playing at at this point? I feel like they're all trying to just sabotage her. Like, I, I really do believe that they're all just in on a big joke and Amber Heard is going to be taken down any point. Also heard apparently they're also looking back into the previous court case that they actually had over here in England and apparently they're looking into it again to really see whether or not that Amber Heard winning was the right choice which I feel like after watching these court cases that is definitely something that needs to be addressed and apparently if that is confirmed that they do in fact change the outcome of that Apparently, Amber Heard could be even looking at doing some jail time and also being completely banned from the UK. Now, being from the UK, I will be honest, that last that last thing isn't such a bad thing, believe me. <laughs> Not being able to visit the UK sounds quite nice. But the jail time, I mean, I don't really understand how that works, being banned from the country, but also locking Amber Heard up in England. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but I know that's what some news articles have come out and said. Mr. Knight, how did you get involved in this trial? <laughs> um, I got a text from one of our old employees who I didn't talk Objection, to. Objection, hearsay. Don't tell us what the text said. Just how did okay. you get involved? I got a, I got a text uh, from. I, I got a. That's still hearsay, Your Honor. Okay. Objection. No. Overruled. Thank you. Go on, Mr. Knight. I was asked uh, if okay. it was. No. Objection, hearsay. 
apologize. Um, uh, what did you? I got a what text. Did you, you received a text. Okay. Yes. From and whom? From a former employee. Okay. And how long had it been since you had heard from this former employee? Approximately five years. Okay. And did you contact Mr. Depp or any of his attorneys? Objection leading. Overruled. I did not. How did you get in touch with Mr. Depp's attorneys? They got in touch with me. I Objection, hearsay. No, overruled. Go on, Mr. Knight. Uh, they, they reached out to me. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's I, okay. I don't have an objection right now. I, thank you. <laughs> Only if he talks more. Next question. And how do you feel about participating in this trial? Objection, relevance. It's extremely relevant considering that they have accused him of I, I, being oh, overruled. Thank you. How do I feel about it? Yeah. Um, I'm happy to tell what I saw and that's the extent of it. I really don't care <laughs> outside. Did Amber's lawyers like even graduate? Uh, did they even pass? I like the one clip where it's just like, they're asking him, how do you feel about the court case and you being here? And then they claim that that has no relevance to the case while he was being there in court. What? How did you even make that connection? Again, this doesn't make any sense to me. I know we watched that clip as well in the last video where Johnny Depp's lawyer does the exact same thing that they just did there. But again, it made a lot more sense. I love that every single like objection that she made just got absolutely denied. I, I, I love that so much. Then like the little snarty bit in the middle. Oh, I have no objections yet. Only when he starts talking. I feel like they think that you can just say objection to, to anything with like no purpose or anything. Again, just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. The real psychiatrist. Yes, Calling out the and fake your... psychiatrist. I, I have a couple of primary opinions. Um, the first is, is, is that I, my opinion is that he violated the ethical principles that are outlined in the Goldwater Rule when he gave his opinions about um, Mr. Depp, specifically with relationship to personality traits and his cognitive abilities. Um, my second primary opinion would be that, um, the, that that Dr. Spiegel's opinions um, were unreliable and that he had insufficient information. Okay, it all makes sense now. So apparently I think that is the, the weird guy that makes no sense and creeps me out like he's going to kill me at any second because it almost seems like he's just been brought back from Outlast. I get weird vibes from him. That is Amber Heard's psychiatrist? What? <laughs> I feel like she just found him last minute on Craigslist and thought, you know what? Yeah, you're due. Let's have him in. Very cool. It makes me just wonder what are people actually saying about this man? <laughs> it's like Johnny Depp is studying him for a future character. The way Johnny leans forward. <laughs> Where do they find these people? Like, like Craigslist. Did you not hear I said Craigslist? Johnny's legal team needs to ask to see his medical degree. Seriously. I love, I love, I think he found the jar. I think he did find the jar as well. <laughs> what is your understanding of the length of time over which Ms. Heard pledged the gift of 3.5 million to Children's Hospital? There was no date arrangement with Ms. Heard have this pledge paid off in a particular time. If Ms. Heard uh, were to pay this, the, the rest of the 3.5 million uh, in two years or five years, would CA, would Children's Hospital welcome that? CHLA welcomes every and any donation that comes this way. Has Amber Heard's pledge of the $3.5 million to Children's Hospital expired? to your knowledge not that i'm aware so there we have it boys and girls honestly quite an interesting week i seem to just find the majority of these videos when i'm scrolling through tiktok and i just like to come up from time to time make these little videos where we just really do put together the good the bad and the ugly of the johnny depp and amber heard case because oh wow, wow it do be pretty freaking crazy also the shout out from the previous video goes to chef thank you very much sir for the comments if you want a shout out in the next video leave a comment down below saying johnny depp v's amber heard for your chance to be in the next video 
But anyway, boys and girls, hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, it's always interesting to see what the most trending videos were on this. And honestly, after seeing that psychiatrist, uh, I'm kind of glad we did because that is an interesting fella. But anyway, boys and girls, hope you have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.